So this shows how my FT897 is interfaced to Ham Radio Deluxe via a homebrew uh, RS232 to CAT converter. As you can see, the interfacing is successful. So whatever I doing here on the FT897 will be reflected on ham radio deluxe so as I spin the frequency knob you can see the the LEDs blinking on the homebrew uh, cat interface and uh, also I hooked on a protocol analyzer so that you can see so that I can uh, monitor what uh, communicating between the the ASU and the PC. Here as I spin the frequency knob you can see the data that's passing between the PC and the radio. Now let's see how the wiring goes. From the Yaizu we have this cat connector I didn't want to cut the original cat connector so I put a, a stereo jack so I could save the wire that is connected uh, to my interface here on this connector and um, from this connector it goes to the PC You see how the uh, signaling is connected. From the back of the Yezu, you have a 6 pin connector, and it comes here to the RJ45 behind the signal link. Here I have additional two wires that uh, connect to the aux and the mon of the signal link, that is entirely optional. Uh, that goes to two amplified speaker boxes so that I can monitor I can listen to the transmit and receive audio very useful when uh, you are debugging your uh, digital modes and you can hear what's going to and from the audio for the radio it's not connected to the air I have here a 150 watt dummy load that connects to the RF of the Yesu. Here on a protocol analyzer, you can see the communication between Ham Radio Deluxe and the Yezu. And you can see that uh, although there's nothing, well, seems like nothing is happening between Ham Radio Deluxe and uh, the rig. But you can see here on the protocol analyzer that the PC, that the Ham Radio Deluxe program is communicating all the time with the rig. You can see the two LEDs flashing, that means they are talking all the time. Even though apparently uh, you are doing nothing on the PC as well as on the rig. But they are still communicating behind in the background. Here we have a better view of my homebrew interface. We made a, we printed a printed wire board for it, and it's a universal interface. I have uh, three jumper positions, and by changing the jumpers position, you can choose between a Yezu, Kenwood, or Icom. This was presented as a such club project uh, about two years ago. If you would visit my website, you can find details about this interface is working very very well okay um, the power supply is a homebrew power supply made from uh, HP server rack power supply that 
gives you about 12 volts, 33 amps, I think. Um, so, yeah, I powered it on, and you can see it has a, a voltmeter as well as an ammeter, and uh, the Yezu fits all it. It works very, very well.